Hello everybody. Welcome to Revelation Quilts. We're going to learn how to make this X block today. And when you do put them together, they also make an O. So to get started, I am using charm squares. And to get started, you want to take one light and one dark, and then another light and another dark. If you use a charm pack, all your colors will be coordinated, which will make it even more beautiful. But to get started, I am going to just stack these on top of each other because I can cut through four at a time very easily. So make sure they're stacked up nice and straight together. And I usually like to put my lightest one on top so I can mark it if I need to. So um, there's a couple different ways to do this. Um, one way is to mark a quarter inch, I'm sorry, I lied, an inch and a half down from the top, like so, with a mark that you'll be able to see. And then an inch and a half in from the top, like so. And then do the same thing down in this corner inch and a half this way and an inch and a half this way. Once you have your markings done, you're going to turn it so it's on the diagonal. Um, and the other way to do this is to go two inches. I don't know if you can see that, but it's two inches. And I'm just going to put my two inch mark even with the top and the bottom so that my one inch line goes all the way done. So if I use a different ruler, you may be able to see it better. So if I take my one inch line and do it through the top corner and the bottom corner, you'll be at an inch and a half this way. So we're just gonna make a cut down this side. Pull those aside. And now I'm gonna turn the whole block around if you have a rotating mat, that might be easier for you. I'm going to do the exact same thing. I'm going to put my one inch line on the top corner and the bottom corner, and I'm just going to make that cut. So now I've got two triangles and a strip. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the top triangles, and I'm going to take off this one and I'm going to match these back, match my dark one that I've chosen to go with this to the side and then the other one goes to the other side like this. I'm going to sew these back on this way and I'm going to do the same with the opposite like this and like this. So basically I just cut it into three parts and then I swap to the parts out. So I'm going to go sew these together, sew this to here and this to here, this to here and this to here, and then I will be right back. So once you've got everything sewn together, you want to press it to the dark side. So I'm just going to set my seam and press it to the dark side. on all of the pieces. So in half of them, they'll go out and on the other half, they'll go in. So we're pressing to the dark side and your middle piece on all of these pieces are going to stick out a lot more because of the seam. Everything kind of has shrunk on the outside. Pressing to the dark side. Make sure you get it nice and flat. And one more. So then after you have pressed them all, you're going to want to square them up to four inches. So I usually I have a uh, 45 degree line on my ruler, so I usually make that go right up the middle. And then I'm just going to 
do the side and the top and then I'll turn it around line it up with my four inch line and my 45 degree diagonal line will be going right up the middle and I'll do these sides you get a nice four inch block so we're going to do that to all of the rest of them Okay, so now what you have is you have four little four inch squares that are opposite from each other. So you are going to place these, you're gonna make a four patch out of this. So just like this and like this, and it's gonna make an X like so. So then you're just gonna sew this together like a regular four patch. So you're gonna sew this one to here, here, this one to here, and here. I'm gonna go do that. So I've sewn my four pieces, or my sewn two by two. So these two are sewn together, and these two are sewn together. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to iron them in the opposite direction. So this seam allowance will be going that way, and this seam allowance will be going that way. So that when I sew these two together, they will lock up. So I'm just gonna quick press these right now so that this is going this way, this is going this way, just a quick press. So when I sew them together like this, the seam allowances are going the opposite way. And so they will sew together very nicely and won't have a bunch of extra bulk under there. So I've sewed those two, four, two, four together. And I'm just going to iron that seam going to one side, maybe use a little steam, and there you have it. You have your X block. Super easy to do. So I hope that you give it a shot, and then when you put a bunch of them together, you end up with some pretty cool designs. So as you can see, it kind of makes an O in between. In between the X's so X's and O's super simple your lights and dark fabric they just stand out and I think that if you do this with um, coordinating charm squares that would just make a beautiful quilt I'm making mine scrap because I'm making a little table runner so um, have fun enjoy if you have any questions put it in the comments below and I will definitely answer them for you thanks for watching